Hello Magical Sparks! Welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be unboxing and trying out some colored pencils that were kindly sent to me by the company Artex. We're also going to be redrawing one of my old drawings and I'm also going to be giving you guys tips on how to be more confident with your art based on what I've kind of learned throughout the years. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I personally found that very satisfying. By the way, here is how the packaging looks on the outside, but there's still a bit more unpacking to do. And by the way, I would like to say that while this product was very kindly sent to me by the company over at Artex, my opinions and thoughts in this video will be 100% my own and I'm going to try and be 100% honest with you guys. Can you please approve this product? Can you please tell me it's cute? Because you're the master of cuteness. Do you think it's cute? Approved? He approved it. We good guys, we good. It's all approved. <gasps> we good. Good job, good job, baby. Cheese pie. We're gonna interrupt this video because a lot of people have been asking to see your cute face. And can you show them your face? Not that close, baby. Let's just go a little bit back. Chinny, look at the camera. <gasps> Goodbye. Goodbye. Still very close up, but that's okay. All right, back to the review. Anyways, now that that's done, here is how the packaging looks and can I just say, Artex never fails to impress with the packaging, like it's always so aesthetic and so pretty and the colors are just always so unique but everything just works together so well. And as you can see on the back, you can see swatches of all 126 colors and for some reason that purple color really stood out to me, I don't know what it is but it just looks so pretty. And here in the bottom, that's where the box kind of opens and if you look at the very bottom of the box, you can see how it's like kind of split into two parts but that'll make more sense once i open the box also can i just say the bunnies on the front are just so so cute i love it so much and here we are here are the pencils and as always we have a very sweet and really nice thank you card from artex which i love a lot and anyways here are the actual pencils they look so good already they just look so pretty and colorful and now it kind of makes sense as to why there was a line at the bottom of the packaging before it's because these pencils can split off into two separate parts and i actually looked at the back of the box to see if the pencils were arranged in any kind of specific order and i wasn't really sure i think it is quite interesting because there is kind of an order as to how the colors are arranged but there also kind of isn't in my opinion but it's not really a big deal you can always just take out the pencils and reorganize them any way you like so it suits you and now let's take a closer look at the actual pencil and I picked it up and I just loved it so much. I don't know how to explain it, but like it just has like a really good feel to it. Like it feels a little bit heavy, but it feels really smooth and it's just like really nice to hold. And I've tried out a couple of different pencil brands in the past, ranging from cheap, affordable, and expensive. And this has just, I don't know, it just feels so different and it just feels so nice to hold. Like I just wanted to hold it for some reason. Um, I don't know. It was just really nice. And by the way, if you're wondering how the pencils are stored inside the box let me show you a close-up so we've kind of got these like really soft holes in the bottom of the box where you can put the pencils in and take them out and i don't think that it's going to damage the lead so that's really good it also makes a fun sound like a xylophone too <laughs> and now i'm just going to pack it up because i think it's time to start drawing and testing out to see how these pencils work and again i think you guys really deserve a close-up on the bunny at the front on the little bunnies because they are so so adorable 
Also, I did my nails by myself. Do you guys like it? Anyways, so let me explain what's gonna happen here. So I initially started drawing and recording um, a different kind of concept for the final drawing in this video. And it was gonna be me and my dog. And my dog was gonna be wearing an outfit inspired by the bunny in front of the packaging. And I kind of liked the idea. Everything was going well, everything was going smooth. And I started coloring, but then I just really did not like how it was turning out. So I decided to scrap that idea. and instead of that i decided to redraw one of my old drawings so here's the point where i decided nope i'm gonna just stop right there uh, i might finish this in the future but for this video now i'm going to be trying to redraw this old drawing from my sketchbook in 2021 of captain america from marvel and i'm going to be trying to redraw him in my current kind of style and and just stepping into this challenge the main question i was asking myself was am i going to find out if my art has gotten better over these two years or or worse and I was kind of scared but let me explain what happens next <laughs> but anyways just before I talk more on that topic and about being more confident with your art and how to become more confident with your art I do want to actually spend some time talking about the product itself which is the Artex 126 set of colored pencils and I wanted to share with you guys what I think about it as well as the pros and cons that I personally saw okay so to start it off let me just tell you guys about the pros then we'll jump onto the cons and then I'll share my final thoughts Okay, so from my opinion, pro number one is definitely the fact that these pencils just have a really nice feel to them and they're just so like kind of soft and smooth like to hold like the outside grip. It's just really nice and I love that about it. Um, the second pro I would say is the price. So I'm going to be talking specifically about the pricing in Australia, but I will have links to the product and if you want to get it from a different country and everything. But okay, so in Australia, if you go to Amazon Australia, the price is $89.99. And since you get this with 126 colored pencils, I did divide it. And when you divide it, then it comes down to approximately $1.42 per pencil. And that is actually not taking the price of the packaging into account. So I think that's actually a pretty good price, like when you compare this to Prismacolors and everything. However, another important factor to think about is that this doesn't work exactly like Prismacolors. So it's not like you're getting a Prismacolor alternative for a cheaper price. It's just that you're getting a good quality pencil for a cheaper price, but it doesn't work exactly like Prismacolors in my opinion. Okay, and the second per I would say is definitely that. And I don't really know how to explain this, but it kind of has like a soft feel to it as well as a hard feel at the same time i think it just kind of depends on the way that you're using your pencil and just like the angle that you use it at and how much pressure you apply like sometimes it feels really soft and it's just kind of great for blending and coloring in big spaces and at other times it feels kind of hard which is actually good for adding in those details and just getting into those deeper areas and i think it just it just feels really nice i think a con for me is that the white pencil could be a bit more opaque like when it comes to prisma colors i feel like the white pencil is just slightly more opaque um i think another con would also just be the packaging because while it is nice and like it functions quite well when you're lifting up the box it's really easy to just hold it in the wrong place and then have all your pencils just fall out especially if, if there's someone who doesn't know how the packaging works and they try to lift the box up and accidentally end up creating a bigger mess and with that, now it's time for me to share my thoughts with you guys. So overall, I think I really do like this product. I especially love the packaging. I think it's really cute and aesthetic. And I love how the colors are actually mentioned at the back and how each pencil has like its own color name on the barrel. Um, I feel like I wouldn't really use this in the same way that I would use Prismacolor pencils because I just feel like those are just way more softer in comparison to these. But these are definitely good for getting into those details. And guess what? While I did work on two drawings, like throughout the entire course of me working on these two drawings i never had to sharpen the pencils even once because the lead lasted for that long and trust me i'm someone who uses a lot of lead i do press down quite hard but it did last me quite a long time which is something i was quite shocked by and i just think that's kind of cool and just one final thing i wanted to add was that i can't really talk about this problem now because it's not something i've like encountered or anything but in the future when the pencils are different lengths i'm not sure if using them when they're in their packaging will become easier or harder or just stay the same but yeah i can't really talk about that right now but 
Maybe once I do use these pencils more and they do change in length, then I can like kind of update you guys and let you guys know how it's going. By the way, guys, I will have some links in the description if you want to check out this product in your own country or somewhere else and just do a bit of research. And by the way, just one more time, thank you Artex for sending me your product for free to try out. I had a great time using it and I'll definitely be using it in the future. Okay, and now to talk about confidence in art. So I have three minutes to talk about this, which is not enough time, but if you guys want like a separate video just dedicated to this topic, let me know in the comments and I will be very happy to make one. Anyways, so confidence. So let me just say that this drawing is not going to be more realistic than my first drawing from 2021. In fact, it's going to go the opposite way and I actually, when I made this drawing, I thought that my art had actually gotten worse, but then I realized that's not the case. I've actually gotten so much better at so many different things and I just haven't been practicing realism and I didn't take my time with this drawing and the paper did have a bit of a texture to it, which kind of explains the differences in kind of how it turned out. But my art hasn't gotten worse and I'll guarantee to you guys, your art hasn't gotten worse either. I feel like as artists and just as people who create something new, I feel like we just put this expectation on ourselves, and I used to do this all the time as well but now I've stopped doing it. And that expectation is that every time you create something new, it has to be better, and I mean has to be better than the last thing you made. Which is really which just kind of this preconception that I really want to urge people not to follow anymore because if you think about it, like if you want to make something that just gets better and better each time, then you're not going to be able to find that freedom to create. You're not going to have fun with creating either, and it's just going to add so much pressure on you because you're not going to feel that courage to step out of your comfort zone and try something new because you're going to be overcome by that fear that you have to make something that looks good, that looks perfect, and that always looks better than the last thing you made. Oof, running out of time here, but my main point is that we really need to let go of that idea that the next thing we make has to be better than the last because that is usually the thing that stops you from having fun and from stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. It's usually the thing that kind of causes art block and instills fear and if you want to be able to be free to create and to learn then it's really important just to take that pressure away from yourself and I feel like that's the main way that I've just gotten more confident with my art. Like this piece, it's not like more realistic, it's not more better, but I was able to try something new and I'm proud of myself for it like as you can tell it's not like completely blended it's not beautiful or amazing but i played around with the lighting i played around with how i colored hair with how i added the line art and i'm really proud of myself for it and i can definitely see that confidence just shining through and i can see myself making progress and that's really just the main message i wanted to send out to you guys and i really hope that that might help you as well and it might help anyone who's in an art block just to let go of your fears and start creating Anyways, with that being said, I'm not going to say like stop trying to improve or stop practicing. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm just trying to say you can go ahead and practice, but just don't force yourself to create something amazing and perfect every time. Just find a way to take off that pressure and make learning fun and make improving fun. Anyways, guys, that's it for today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!